Welcome to another video of Internet Cafe Simulator number 2. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you what is the... Oh, someone just got wrecked outside. I'll be sharing with you the easiest and most profitable way to start your cafe. So as you guys can see over here, this place is a mess. I don't know where the bot is, that thing on the ground. Maybe it's stuck somewhere. Oh, oh there it is. It's stuck right over here. Okay, so never mind. Let's just actually... Oh, there we go. It moved and I got a drop frame there. And I dropped a few other things as well. Yeah, let's just quickly place it over here. Let it start cleaning. So as you guys can see over here, I've got console. I've got computers. I've got VRs. And I've got these arcade machines. Literally, I've got everything that this game gives you in my cafe. So in Internet Cafe Simulator number one, I literally tested everything. I restarted the game multiple times, spending all my money on one certain thing, such as only arcades or only computers or consoles. And unfortunately, there were not any VRs. So let me tell you guys quickly what is the most profitable thing in this game. Believe it or not, it is the arcade machines. I did an eight part series of this Internet Cafe Simulator 2 and where I, yeah, eight part series, eight part video or whatever you want to call it, where I literally took this cafe from zero to euro wherever, if, if it's called zero dirty zero now, but yes, oh gosh, okay that's not good, are we going to let it burn down, where is my, there it is, sorry guys, quickly got a problem over here. There we go, don't worry, sort it out, <laughs> and that is why arcade's the best, they don't catch fire. So yes, the reason why arcade gaming is the best in this game is because at the beginning you want to experience a lot of things, such as people, they actually pay before they play, so, which is amazing, so there will never be anybody just walking out without being able to pay. As you guys can see over here, this person is waiting to use the computer. Even if we have to go up, everyone is waiting to use the computers, such as she's waiting for the VR now. He's waiting for the console, so that means every time that someone wants to participate in using something, I've got to literally do this and approve everyone, which means I am stuck at this computer all day long. And then people walk out, they haven't paid, and it's just bonkers. Whereas with the arcade machines, the people, they just come in and they play. And you know what's even better? They're probably going to patch this up. But even though I switch off the electricity, you'll see everyone is walking out. But you'll see people will be walking in, such as this good dude over here. Sorry, bro. You can just keep it. So let's quickly follow this guy. Look at that. He's going to go and play arcade. Look at the money coming in. I just got $90. I don't have to pay an electricity bill. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is so darn cool. So, long story short, they don't use electricity at this moment. They are the cheapest to buy. People pay before they actually use them. And also, because they are so darn cheap, you can buy multiple of them. Whereas with the console, if you want to buy like the best console or the best computer, with your starting money, you won't be even able to buy it, which means the profit will be very little with whatever you decide to buy. So you can go and test out this theory, you'll see the arcade is the best starting thing. It actually allows you... Oh, look at this guy. Oh, it's Valve. Oh, that is so cool, man. Okay, anyway, yeah, Valve, the, the developing company. I didn't thought they would do something like that. As you guys can see, people are still coming in. So yeah, nevertheless, there we go, guys. That is the easiest way you can start your Internet Cafe Simulator. If this helped you out a lot or you did not understand or it was very informative or whatsoever, Please do make sure to drop a big like. Let me know in the comments what is your opinion about everything. I would really appreciate it. I mean, just look at them. They're still coming in, playing games. I'm just getting mullah. Let's quickly see at the top right corner. Here we go. It's just $120 just like that. And also, one thing that I forgot to mention to you guys is that when thieves come in and they steal, they don't steal arcade machines. It's still computer stuff. There's still computer chairs, the keyboard, the mouse, the screen, everything computer or console wise, they steal. But they do not steal the arcade machine. So literally, you can be wandering around outside. You don't have to worry about nada. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a big like. If you'd love to support the channel, especially if you're new, hit the logo at the bottom right corner to subscribe. If you want to see a similar video, hit the icon on the left. If you want to see one of my most recent videos, I'm a
hit the icon on the right, and then I'll see all of you legends in my next video. But for now, peace out, everyone.